All right, Dr. Brown, this is William Davenport and Josh Wiggins. Uh, we'll start with uh, what you give us, which is uh, we're gonna write some zeros into the column, then we're gonna wait until anything's pressed. Um, once something's pressed, we're gonna read it out in uh, uh, binary. Take that on down here, write to the columns, and then read the columns. And we end up with a three numbers that are cascaded, well, uh, arrayed into a key pressed. Uh, the, the main value we used was the key value, which is the one through 16, or zero through 16s. And our main program starts down here. It uh, basically runs off this one counter and pre-count being not equal. So we have a counter up here and anytime they're not equal, what's inside this box runs. It runs one time because once you get inside the box, counter one is set to pre-count. So it runs one time and then these set are equal to each other so it only runs one time. While you're in this box, whatever you pressed, if you pressed a, a zero, um, we take a, a string zero and out that to the UART. We also take that zero and concatenate it into key num value. Um, if you press zero again, key num value is now in this area and it is concatenated again. So now you got two zeros in this key num value. Um, that happens for, for numbers zero through nine values. When you get to ten, is a our plus, which is on the, our, our plus, is on the a, minus b, multiply c, d is divide. Uh, back on the plus, which is going to be the same for the other uh, four functions, um, but we take that plus and we output it to the uart. We also take that string plus sign and put it to a math value. Um, we also set, once we get uh, one of these functions, we also set our key num value to our first value. So now our, we have a new first value, our key num value is empty again. Uh, with this empty string right here, we should send that to the key num value. So that's the same for add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Uh, when you get to the equal sign, which is 14, and it's also the star button on the keypad, um, first we output these two, we have it in a flat sequence right here, we output these values to integers, integer 1 and second integer. Uh, we put the equal sign because we hit equals on uh, the UART, we output that to the UART. And then depending on what uh, math sign you sent, we do one of these operations. Uh, if it's the plus operation, uh, there's a plus sign in math value. So the plus sign equals the math value. So you do this, which is true. You take that first integer and second integer, add them and put them in result. We also take that and turn it into a string and output that to the UART. Now that's kind of typical for add, subtract, multiply. Uh, when you get down to divide, uh, what we're trying to do is, is make a floating point, but our command characters aren't functioning properly to uh, display a, a decimal. Um, so that's still kind of under, under construction, but it does output a value, but that value is always going to be an integer. Um, so if you want to scan down here and look at a couple of examples, uh, we'll say 45 well, we gotta make it run. Hang on. So the clear function, equal function, mat, plus, minus, divide, or multiply and divide. Uh, so we'll take 45 uh, plus 45 equals 90. Our clear function, clear. Uh, let's say 89 minus 9 uh, equals. You always have to have that equals buttons to uh, get the right number and you have to clear each time to, to start a new math problem. Um, I think we can do some pretty big numbers. Let's say 5,000 um, times, oh, that's, 
Let's put a multiply. I don't know if that'll work. Let's clear it. 5,000 times 5 equals 2,500. The other problem we have is uh, we're not able to sync our starting key back to zero each time. So uh, we'll have to figure that out. But it does clear the screen, and but it just starts wherever wherever our, our blank screen ends, our blank key that we, we sent ends. You can't see that. There you go. I'll try it again. Clear. Clear. 99.9. Um, let's do uh, divided by 3 equals 333. We clear it. Here's the problem. 2 divided by 3 doesn't equal one, but that, that that's the closest integer it can display. So uh, we got a little bit of work to do, but I think we completed it. Thank you.